Turkey and Saudi joined hands to blast Israel, condemning its alleged role in the death of Ismail Haniyeh that has led to peace fallout in the Middle East. Turkish Deputy Foreign Minister Nu Yilmaz has issued a stern rebuke of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's administration, accusing it of fostering regional instability through extremist and racist policies. Speaking at a meeting of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, OIC, in Jeddah on Wednesday, Yilmaz highlighted recent actions by the Israeli government as evidence of its dangerous political strategy. Yilmaz pointed specifically to the assassination of Hamas political bureau chief Ismail Haniyeh in Iran on July 31st. He characterized this killing as a shameless act that not only violated Iran's sovereignty, but also severely undermined ongoing efforts towards achieving peace in the region. He reiterated Turkai's unwavering support for the Palestinian resistance, emphasizing that the Palestinian cause remains resilient despite continued aggression. Yilmaz was joined in by the delegation from Riyadh. Saudi Deputy Foreign Minister Walid al Kuraiji described Haniyeh's assassination as a blatant violation of Iran's sovereignty. He reiterated Saudi Arabia's stance against any infringement on the sovereignty of states or interference in their internal affairs. The comment by the Saudi Deputy Foreign Minister during the extraordinary meeting of members of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, OIC, was the first by the Kingdom, the region's major power alongside Iran since the killing of the Palestinian Islamist leader in the Iranian capital on July 31st. Criticism was also leveled at Israel's recent legislative actions. Turkai's Yilmaz noted that the Israeli parliament has passed laws rejecting the establishment of a Palestinian state and designating the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees UNRWA as a terrorist organization. Yilmaz also did not spare the international community from criticism, particularly the United Nations and the United States Congress. He accused them of failing to prevent bloodshed and condemned the applause Netanyahu received from members of the US Congress, questioning whether they were applauding genocide. A statement was issued by the OIC held Israel as the illegal occupying power fully responsible for the assassination, describing it as a serious infringement on Iran's sovereignty. In response, a senior Iranian official vowed that the Islamic Republic would defend itself against Israel, which it holds responsible for Haniyeh's death. 